This unique abandoned Italian mansion proudly survived the passage of time. The foundation stone of this masterful property was laid in the mid-18th century, and if the walls could speak, they would speak volumes. In its last phase of life, this outstanding villa was inhabited by a very special person, a talented and musical woman named Albertina. She studied in numerous cities in the north of Italy and made her debut in music in 1919 as a soprano singer. A voice of ambiguous color its imposing aspect and a difficult character prevented her from picking up greater successes. And in 1935, she retired from her musical career and decided to settle down with the love of her life in a small southern village in Italy. However, she kept creatively casual, and together with her husband, they gave birth to several children and opened an authentic antique shop right underneath the frescoed painted ceilings. In 1980, after a turbulent life and various careers, Albertina took a well-deserved retirement. After sadly losing her husband a few years later, she lived in a mansion alone as a widow. Her children by then were also adults and each had their own lives, but they regularly came to visit her. I can hardly imagine what it must have been like for Mrs. Albertina to spend her last years alone in such a huge and aristocratic place. But anyway, let's feel the harmony back in time together now, as I will be exploring this ominous place today and take you with me on another vision of a rich past. So welcome back everyone on a brand new tale in Italy. Today I have another truly historical manor house to show you, which is again totally different from other places that we've seen previously on this trip. And there is something very incredible about this place. We found a room that is entirely bombarded with knickknacks, plenty of items. I think these people once had a flea market or a little antique market where they sold stuff because you can still see the price tags on these items as well. 
And apart from that, there is again, beautiful paintwork inside. We're gonna find beautiful rooms. So stay tuned for another great adventure and let's go. So I will just start this explore in a little side room. Looks like this was maybe also a little kitchen one day. And they used to stand furnaces here. Over there they would let their plates and everything dry. Look at the shape of the door entrance. Almost like a gothic church or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there is a little donkey statue. And a spider crawling here, <laughs> which is still alive. I do think this place has been abandoned for around 15 years. Based on some calendar dates I find inside. 2005. Now let's see what's over here. Well, just the bathroom. You can tell it's very dirty inside as well. Nature is slowly taking the upper hand and it's just growing inside of this place. What's written on the door over here? Tono de Lochi. Hmm, very strange. And I have to admit that it is also a very strange place, to be honest. I mean, it's beautiful, but it's gonna be something very unique that I've not often seen. Complete different style again. And I would love to know who once lived there and how these people were. You know, just drink a cup of coffee with them and get to know them better. Wow. What a beautiful vintage door. Where they would store some of their food products. They made these nets to prevent any rats or mice from infesting their food. Also really like the lamp. They were definitely Roman Catholics. And look at this, where I just started this video. It's a beautiful traditional room. I really like the wooden staircase. Well, you can tell plenty of dust marks. There probably used to be a lot of plates hanging up. And there is also still plenty of frames on the wall. Wow, a beautiful stone fireplace. That might even be the family coat of arms. If that's the case, they were novels. But it's also possible that it was just decoration for their chimney. Still an old ink pot there. and some other tiny artifacts. Wow. Let's have a glimpse over here. We have some very old photos of the family that once lived there. Look at the girl, she's writing something on a wall. Il gelato. Gelato is actually ice cream in Italian.
I always love to go through these old photos and get an image of who lived here. If this was the owner, they definitely had a dog. And they were animal lovers, I think. Still a wallet over here. The picture of this girl inside. Something from 1995. Wow. Those were the days. We'll never get old. Beautiful memories still left behind. And look over here. No freaking way. Oh, okay, this is interesting. So this was from the woman who lived there. Her name was Albertina. And this was actually the certification for her retirement. It dates from 1980. Albertina, again. So yeah, that was the woman who lived there. Some more old photos over here. Let's see. Wait a second. Oh my freaking gosh. This picture was once taken inside the mansion. So this was definitely the owner, I think this was Albertina, and this was their daughter, I guess. Incredible to see the difference from then versus now. You're gonna see it in a while because it's the next room that's about to follow right over here in this photo. No way. This place was once so pristine. I can barely not even recognize it anymore. Once the garden, as you can see, they also had a cat. Wow, beautiful photos over here. I think this was Mrs. Albertina we see over here in her younger days. They had two cats actually, or maybe even more. Incredible. Oh, and the wall are also still plenty of things hanging up. But you can also see plenty of dust marks again of more ornamental plates or frames that were hanging up there one day. They definitely devoted themselves to religion. It's reflecting everywhere in the walls and in other parts of this mansion. The Pope over there in a little frame as well. They were fans of the football club or soccer club, AC Milan. Absolutely insane. I'm now just seeing all the mold on the fabrics and wood. The staircase really reminds me of a Harry Potter movie. Genuinely very old. And they had also plenty of drawers and cabinets over here. Let's just check this letter. It's from a friend, Ernesto, and he was a real estate agent. Yep, again the same name is coming back. Albertina. So look at this. Honestly, it's quite heavy as well. No kitsch, I think.
Probably an Italian town somewhere. Looks like they were interested in this house. Or maybe they were the real estate agents. So dirty down here. Without gloves, I will never touch these doors inside of this place. Dang. All the keys of the property are also still hanging up here. Insane. Wow. <laughs> Look inside of here. I just told you that they devoted themselves to religion. Well, that's pretty clear now to everyone, I guess. It was an important subject to them. But why did they do that inside of the cabinet? Very squeaky. So just look on the dust. Well, they were all quite empty. Another picture of the Pope over there. Okay, so right now you're gonna see something very incredible and also very extravagant. Behind this door, there is a room, quite a big room, and it is entirely stuffed with so many items that you don't know where to look. Stay tuned. What the actual heck? All right, I'm just gonna give you an overview first. Because I'm now just completely surrounded. By so many things. And I really don't know where to start. Neither where to look at. I'm just gonna start off right over here. Most of these items were all just little items like you see on a flea market. I guess they just sold them over here. I'm well, really wondering how this place looked when it was open and active. <laughs> Was it also a big mess like this? I think it was a little bit more organized, but still, it was probably overstuffed. As you can see where three pezzi. I don't know if pezzi is the former Italian currency before the Euro, but I think so, because over there you can also see five pezzi. Well, there are some beautiful things. Beautiful plates and everything, you know. What I also really like of this room is the paintwork on the walls and the ceiling. Dang. <laughs> Granny's Flea Market.
anyhow, it's definitely a shame that there is nothing done anymore with all these items and they're not being used. I mean, some of them might not be worth anything anymore or of interest to anyone, but I can very strongly imagine that some items are definitely still reusable. And people in need could definitely use them. So many old DVDs and everything here. <laughs> A fish sort of thing. Some bags over here with some purses. All over there, even some little swords and an armor. Also some Christmas decoration <laughs> and a freaking seagull. Is that like an aquarium? I think so. Damn. This cabinet is close to fall down over here. And by the way, there is also such a musty smell inside of here. Probably also plenty of big spiders are hiding between and behind all those objects as well. One thing for sure, it's something very unique that I've never seen. And definitely not in Italy to this extent. Voila, mamma mia. There is plenty of chinaware between all these items and also plenty of glasses. <laughs> I think this was not for sale, but they just used these foam bust heads to place the heads on top. They did sell. And I think they painted this themselves Maybe they were also quite artistic. Everything is green here. Even a gnome over here. You know, I'm just going through this slowly because you never know what you can find behind this huge dump of items and material. <laughs> Even a freaking witch. Dang, those were some very chic glasses, probably for champagne or something. Now I have to be careful in this room because I was here making some pictures and there is a hornet inside. If I get stung by that, I will need to go to a hospital and I probably can't explore anymore for a few days. And that would be a huge bummer. But so far so good, I've not heard him yet, so 
Let's try to walk here silently and hopefully I will not wake the animal up. <laughs> but these foam pastas, they are so strange. Especially this one with the wick. What the heck? I'm really wondering what you think about this. I do think it's a crazy discovery. <laughs> They must have had a shop here once. And you know, there are also some people that sometimes comment, why are you not gonna ask the neighbors for the story? Well, it's quite conspicuous. If you're gonna talk with the neighbors, they will maybe have a certain envy that you've been inside or they can do difficult, maybe called cops. And on top of that, we're in Italy. And in these small towns, people talk very poor English. And talking about poor, my Italian is also very poor. So yeah, it's quite impractical. Wow. <laughs> Even the fan over there. Again, plenty of crystal. Coffee machine. <laughs> the amount of items is absolutely insane. Even an old watch over here. <laughs> no tocar, I think it means don't touch. I will respect that, Mr. Owner, even if you departed this earth. That's funny, look at that sort of Mexican statue over there. <laughs> there are so many knickknacks, it's insane. All real, absolutely. But I think, for the people watching this right now, that some people definitely have seen items that they would be interested in to decorate their home with or place it somewhere in the house. So it's a shame that they're all now just left as a victim of neglect. And they were not used anymore. I mean, many items are also very kitsch, I admit, but maybe some things would be still yeah, liked by people. There are two license plates, Giorgio and Anna, is written on it. And yeah, then we're back. Oh, even a lava lamp. <laughs> And then we're back at this sort of tiny bar area. And I actually made a complete tour around. Can't believe it that I went through all this stuff. All right, let's go back out now. I haven't seen the Hornet luckily, so I'm still safe. 
Time to explore the rest. All right, and then let's go through this door and actually have a look on the door itself first. I think it's very old. It's like an old armored door or something. Quite heavy too. And be prepared for that living room you've seen on the photos because this was once the main room. Wow. Absolutely majestic with the chandelier in the middle. The very unique ceiling. The stained glass above the doors. And the painted columns and other patterns on the walls. I don't know if you can see it. But over there is a red light. And the electricity is still transmitting inside of this mansion, strangely enough. It's something that we often see in Italy. And it's very strange. I've even been in some Italian ghost towns before, where all the electricity was still transmitting. Stella Artois, some Belgian beer glasses. Some books. A CD rack over here. Wow. Some beautiful art. Oh my, that's a beautiful picture. I think we've seen the picture also in a smaller size. And this was Mr. Bert Albertina. Sorry, I have to say Mrs. Albertina, of course. <laughs> I think her husband actually went first. And after that, she maybe lived alone at this place or she also went to a nursing home. They were retired, so they reached an older age. That frame is quite grim over there. Also look at these beautiful old door accesses. Wow. Oh, where is the family having dinner inside of here? Also a certificate over there, but I can't show it in detail to protect this place. The paintwork is so lovely. So on the doors, they have just painted their family coat of arms. At least I assume it is their family coat of arms. I definitely do think several generations have passed within this building. Over here they've stored some stuff in bags, but they were never reclaimed. I really like this part because I think it was a little bar area. Just imagine how they would have lived there one day, making a drink here. They've still got all the bottles standing there and all the glasses. They would probably invite their guests. There would maybe even have been a huge table here once that has been taken out. They would have dinner here in a great ambience, in a great art gallery in their mansion.
I really find these busts and these mannequins so strange. Look, this was once the head of this bust. And right now they just duct taped it. It's even wearing lingerie like, what the heck? That's just so strange. I really don't get it. I love these huge doors over here with the yellow glass windows. Wow, <laughs> what a place actually. As I told you, a very unique place with great art inside and a real time capsule of the past. I think the place got abandoned around the festives because there are still some Christmas ornaments hanging up. We are even still all the CDs in the CD racks. Pizzeria Luigi. Where you can also see Senda. I think this was Jesus Crib. Or at least some Christmas decoration. I definitely love listening to music and also watch movies. Apart from the more modern CDs, there are also still plenty of old records and vinyls all inside of here. Some cassette tapes too. They've placed the mainstay over here. And you can clearly see why. They're starting to be cracks in the ceiling. So somebody is still maintaining it. Now the problem is there is probably no money to restore it as a whole. So they just find quick and cheap solutions until there is money, hopefully one day. You can also clearly see that they tried to barricade this door. Well, luckily we found another easy access inside and I am able to explore this place today. Absolutely majestic. Now, this is so strange again. It looks like they even had a bar or something here. Look at all the crates where they would put the empty bottles inside. Look at the glasses and also look at the shelves. A huge storage. But for what? Because I think in the first room, what once used to be the kitchen, it also looked a little bit like a kitchen you see in a bar or a restaurant. This is dating from 1992. I cannot really place what has all been going on inside of those walls. I don't know about you. Just feel free to share your ideas and thoughts in the comment section down below. Plenty of different glasses. Dang, look over here. Skeleton of a bird. Now before making our way to the grand staircase behind those doors, there is still another part of the property that we've not explored yet on this floor. Have a look. Wow. I love the paintwork again. Some other Christmas decoration on top of this bookshelf.
This was an old cassette recorder. <laughs> it's crazy. The ambience of this, that place. And the voices of the children that are playing on the streets here in this village. <laughs> Even an antler over there. And what's hanging on it? I really can't place what it is. A broom or something? Look over here, Tombola Gran Premio. Oh, something like an old game or something? Also beautiful chairs. I really love all these frames in the walls. Over here is calendar. Saying 2005. And what's this? It was delivered to a doctor, Herberto. Maybe the man that lived there was a doctor. Or maybe one of the members of the past family generations. Look at the paintwork from a closer perspective. Wow. There are so many art inside of here. It's absolutely amazing. History is still so well preserved within this home. Oh, over here we have a garage. Even a calendar over there from 1997. Whoa, guys, we still have a car standing here in the garage. Oh my. All right, let's have a close look at the car in a bit. Let's check out the Bosch refrigerator. Uh, huh? It's not filled with food, but with some storage. <laughs> I have a feeling that they could really not get rid of items. They had so much that they just collected it everywhere and it stored it everywhere. But wow. This car is still in such a decent state apart from Thick layer of dust. Lovely old timer. Look at the inside with the red seats. Beautiful car. I really like this one. I think it's the first time I see uh, this model. Also some stuff for gardening and everything. And another calendar saying 2002. The back door of another car. A Volvo. This has been firmly closed for decades. The roots are still just growing between it. Wow. As they would say in Italy, Que beleza, how beautiful. All right, we explored all the rooms on this floor. Now what rests us is making our way 
up a grand staircase. I don't know why, but there is another mannequin standing over there. First time I see this in Italy. I very often see, yeah, these sort of pearls or bulbs in France, but never on the banisters in Italy. And have a look, guys. Wow. Wow, oh wow. Absolutely beautiful. The paintwork. Also up top. Beautiful natural sunlight falling through. Wow. <laughs> this is true art. I just love it. MCD Knights with sparrows and swords displayed This property must be truly historical Absolutely incredible and then if I turn around, we have even more beautiful paintwork in another room. It's sad to see the part of the ceiling just crumbling apart. Over there is still a fan hanging on the wall. Plenty of books on these shelves. They were clearly collectors. They even collected all these stickers from tech brands like Sony. They loved cars. <laughs> wow. They also love reading. There are so many books. Big encyclopedias. Even a book about geographics and yeah, and actually everywhere around the world. All the continents, Europe, Asia, America, Africa, and Ossetania. It's such a magical place. Wow, oh wow. Very happy that I have the chance to see it today and explore it. What I only miss is the calm and silent ambience of this abandoned place. Because I hear children shouting all the time. I think this once was a bathroom, but the bed has been taken out. It was probably standing just like that, right over there. Another beautiful old lamb. I think this was once the bathroom of a child. Giorgio was the name of the child. Giorgio. Well, we have another room. And as you can see, these rooms over here on this floor are not furnished anymore how it used to be one day. But we find even more 
photos of the family. I think this was their daughter. This was probably the mother of Mrs. Albertina or her husband. And over here are more members of the family that's probably already departed this earth by now. And over there in the middle, we can see the husband of Mrs. Albertina, of which I haven't found the name yet. Dang, I think there was also an attic, but the ceiling has just collapsed there. Oh yeah, there was an attic. You can see the stairs going up here, but it looks very unsafe, so I'm not even gonna attempt to go over there. Small games over there. This room is, yeah, quite dead, quite empty. There's not much left of it anymore. Then let's walk to the other side on this floor. Hmm. I cannot open this. Those are actually no doors. Very strange. Well, only the clothes hooks are left. The clothes itself are luckily reclaimed, I guess. And then we are at the point where you saw that other wooden staircase going up and you were probably curious for what was following upstairs. We have a bathroom, which is again just solely left and being very decaying in time. We'll just quickly show you this room. You can tell they placed another mainstay over here because there's another weak point of the building. Dang, purple walls. All right, that's different again. This is so magical. This must have been another children's room. And look at the paintings, they are also very childish. But I really like it. <laughs> Which child wouldn't want to have painted ceilings like this? If we have any mothers with children watching this program just let me know if you would like this for your child in its room wow <laughs> absolutely amazing yeah this clearly was not a bad room but in this room the bed is not present as well Still some religious artifacts in the walls. A religious statue of a priest over here as well. You can still tell where the bed used to stand. And then over here, 
What's the alarm clock? Okay, this is strange. Found just another calendar date. 2010. In that case, the place is abandoned for 11 years. Yeah, 2010 over here as well. 2012 even. Dang, why are there so many different dates? Over here is again 2006. Very strange. And lastly, there is one other room on this floor. There's also definitely was a bathroom once. I can open this, right? Oh, dang. Then everything opens up by itself. But yeah, not much left over there. This definitely was the bathroom of a boy. A lot of things about soccer and posters on the wall. And again, strangely enough, the bed is not present anymore. I really love this vanity. Looks Victorian. Or Edwardian, but it's very old. Beautiful vintage piece of furniture. 2008 over there. And then the end. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching to another magical tale here in Italy. A truly unique building, very interesting building style, interior and beautiful artwork. I really enjoyed it and I hope you did the same. And if you did, then you know the drill. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel below and also leave your comments in the comment section right down below. And then as always, we will see you on our next adventure. Peace out.